Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at a second example of seasonality. So here's our key ideas. So remember we want to look at the first graph on the left to decide is there a repeating seasonal pattern. Then we want to, if there is, we go and interpret that in more detail. So let's have a look at this. And you'll notice in this one, I've got on this axis here, it's talking about the weight of products, of goods, brought in by C. And so I'm wanting to look to see, is there a pattern? And so if I take one year, so for example, this year 2000 here, I'm going to start down here, and that starts going upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards. So there is that pattern. Now let's find another year. So here's 2013. That's going down and then up and then down and then up and then all over the place. Okay, then I'm going to find another year. And so here is 2010. So that's going up and up and down and up and down and up. So I hope what you can see is that there is quite a variation in the patterns here. There isn't a consistent pattern going on. And we can see that in the second graph too. So we can see that we've got our trend line there at zero. And we can see that this data here doesn't really vary much from that trend. It only goes up and down a little bit. There's one or two places where it does obviously go a little bit further down, okay? Um, but overall, there really is not much of a consistent pattern here. And so, do I have consistent seasonality? No, I do not. So when I come to interpret this, that's what I want to say. So looking at the seasonal graph, we can see there is not a consistent seasonal pattern. Now I need to write that in terms of the variable. So in context, this means that the weight of goods that arrive in New Zealand via the seaports do not have any consistent arrival pattern. And that's my <coughs> analysis that I would do for seasonality.